What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about all the different ways that Kimmy and Maurice has met each other. There's been at least three different stories out there, possibly a fourth. So before we get into it, I do ask that you please hit the like button on this video. It will cause YouTube to recommend this video to more people who enjoy Love and Marriage Huntsville. And also, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. You know what I'm going to say after this. I offer a variety of content, including reality TV star interviews, like with the lovely Miss Van from Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I also do TV show recaps and a little celebrity gossip and news. All right. So as you can see from this first visual, this is from the season one reunion of Love and Marriage Huntsville where Kiowa, Maurice, and Kimmy sat down and talked about their strained um, relationship, co-parenting, all that. So then we actually learn a bit about how Kimmy and Kiowa met. And then once we go all the way to the end of the soundbite, it also includes Maurice. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. What can we do? And this is serious. What can we do? To prove to you that we weren't dating at that time. And part of the reason. Right. Why does it matter? Let me ask you. It matters to you. Why does, it does not matter to me. They asked me a question. Okay. And I answered the question. It doesn't matter. You're married now. What difference does it make when you dated? That's she I mean. asked me. Because you've been salty for years. Not because of that. Not because of that. What, what is it? The problem was, like she said, she said that was the first time I met her. Actually, that was the second time I met you. That was shady. So wait, okay, okay wait, 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 wait. No, understand. you have got to hear this because this is almost crazy. <laughs> the first time I met Kyra, I had no idea who she was, nor any of these Scots. She sold adult toys and I bought them. And how some kind of relationship came from that, where she feels like now I'm shady because your next encounter, I've met your husband, I have no idea. But that's what she's making this correlation to. And is that why you think she shouldn't be around your son? Because she purchased sex toys? And when I met him, I didn't know that was her ex-husband. <laughs> the, the connection is that my brother was married to her sister-in-law at that time, which is Kimmy's friend. Of 13 years. Right. They lived in Huntsville. We lived in Michigan. We went down to visit. She was actually selling the toys. Kimmy showed up and bought toys. But I didn't know who Kimmy was. No. Or do nobody you, feel, did. you feel like his brother introduced them? The person that hosted the party did. Mm -hmm. But that was my friend and her friend. I, I just wouldn't introduce friends to hook up with the ex. That, that, to me, that just, just... So... So y'all, that is very messy. That is messy. So Kiowa at the time was selling adult toys. Shout out to Bedroom Candy. <laughs> and so her uh, former, she said her sister-in-law, which was also Kimmy's friend, I'm just going to say a mutual friend, was hosting the party. So Kiowa did a toy party and Kimmy was one of the guests. It sounds like it was a co-ed party because Maurice was there. And according to Kiowa, she feels like this mutual friend may have introduced Kimmy and Maurice, which is super duper messy because, yo, I get it if y'all are divorcing and you've signed the papers, but if she's a mutual friend, shouldn't she have some sort of um, alliance with Kiowa? I agree that is super duper messy. But then, you know, there is another scenario that the Scots have told us about how they have met. You know, this is familiar to you, I'm sure, when she wanted to jump ahead of the effects of the treatment and she wanted to cut her hair before it would just come out just to kind of ease the trauma. I get it. So um, then she explains how she and Maurice met. And this ain't got nothing to do with no adult toys. Here we go. Pretty, you're beautiful. And this is just part of your life story. 
that's a professional. He changed now clippers and clips and stuff. That's how I got to meet Maurice because I kind of uh, stalked him on Facebook for a little while. <laughs> hey. And Patricia, my girlfriend, she was like, oh, he's, yeah. a, he's a barn. And I was like, really? She's like, yeah, he cuts hair. And I was like, wow. So <laughs> I went on Facebook and I was like, I hear you cut hair. And he was like, I do. I said, well, I have a son that needs a haircut. And as a single mother of a young gentleman, I actually took that opportunity as a chance to get to know Maurice. And so he came over to cut Jacob's hair. So that was one of our very first um, introductions. I didn't know I was getting interviewed at the time. (laughs) (laughs) I really like it. So I will say that in that clip, she does say that is one of our introductions, almost like covering to say perhaps they kept meeting or she said she, you know, would troll him on, on social media, on Facebook. So I'm guessing they initially saw each other physically at the toy party. Perhaps there was a mutual attraction, but, but then she pursued it by, you know, like, Oh, I hear that you're a barber. And then it sounds like she invited him over to her house to cut the boy's hair. So, okay. If you felt that comfortable doing that, but wouldn't be me. But there still is another way that they could have possibly met y'all. So then we have all talked about this just cringy, just ratchet interview that they did recently on Fox Soul's TGIF with Al Reynolds, Claudia Jordan, and Funky Dineva. Shout out to Claudia Jordan again. So we're going to hear what um, Kimmy says about how they met during this interview. Mario, listen, y- y- y'all already know how I come, but before we get into the tea, we're going to take a small trip down memory lane to what sparked the love between you two. So let's start with you, Kimmy. What sparked the love between you two? Uh, actually, we were introduced. We were introduced for the purposes of getting, meeting each other. Um, and he was flipping houses, and I was wanting to get into real estate. And so we did a lot of conversation about, you know, investment properties and that kind of thing. And in that time frame, we became really good friends. Um, and then I thought he was kind of cute. I trolled him a little bit on social media. Uh, had a couple lunches, and then I guess that's all she wrote. Mm, with your lady husband. <laughs> Funky Dineva being so messy. So yes, yeah, so it's either they met at a toy party or something totally different. He was a barber and she invited him to cut her son's hair or they met through real estate. The first story is definitely super duper messy. And um, yeah, so it's the different ways. The fourth possible way is that they met in Baltimore where Kimmy is from. And then that opens up a whole can of worms, too. So, and I know y'all know what time it is with that as well. Just ask Black Titanic. Shout out to Black Titanic. Well, y'all let me know in the comments what you thought about the three different ways that they have said how they have met. Please hit the like button on this video. I would really appreciate it. And if you have not already done so, definitely subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would love to have you. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Take good care. Bye.